Hello and welcome back to the second episode of the mini-series The Secrets of 3D Scan Process. Today we are going to scan this bronze casting mold and extract the positive figure model from it. In this episode, we will take a brief look at the settings inside the browser-based OpenScan software. After capturing our two objects, we will also be using the free software Cloud Compare to align our two scan files. Next, we will return to Mesh Mixer, known from episode 1, to trim and refine the aligned file. We are working with a two-part casting mold. It's relatively small with a shiny surface. The mold is about 5 cm in size, so we will use this 5 cm mount of the OpenScan Mini. Let's position the model carefully. Inside the browser-based OpenScan software, we can crop the image frame, adjust shutter speed or rename the file if needed. We are not using any scan spray this time, as the casting mold already has enough surface texture on its own. We are relying on the cross polarizer to reduce the multiple vibration directions of the unpolarized light and thereby also reduce the highlights on the mold surface. In this case, we are using only the ring light as our light source because the model surface reflects a lot of light, so we turn off all ambient lighting here. Then we start the scan. After completing one half, we scan the second half of the mold. Once both scans are done, we upload them to OpenScan Cloud. When the processing there is finished, we get an email notification that we can download our scan results. Now we open both 3D scan files in the free open source software Cloud Compare to properly align the two mold halves. Cloud Compare is ideal for processing, comparing and analyzing 3D scan data and meshes. Let's begin. In the tab Display, under Shaders and Filters, we changed the initial view by enabling the EDL shader. Now select one of the mold halves in the File Tree window in the left upper corner. Go to Edit, Translate, Rotate and move the model by holding the right mouse button. Position the two halves next to each other, then confirm by clicking the checkbox. Now select both files in the file tree window, go to Tools, Registration and hit Align. Choose one of the two models as the reference. Now place matching points alternately on both objects. Before saving, make sure the Adjust Scale box is unchecked, then click the Align button, confirm with the checkbox and click OK again. Now the two models are aligned. Finally, save each of both mold halves separately as an STL file from the file tree and make sure the binary format is being selected. In the next step, we open the two STL files in MeshMixer, which we already used in episode 1. It's a great free tool for editing and repairing 3D models. Let's begin. Since we are loading two models, the object browser appears automatically, showing all objects in the scene. To isolate the important part, the negative shape of the figure, we will trim both molds using a helper shape. We start by selecting the cube shape from the MeshMix tab and confirm. Under Edit, transform. We adjust the position and size of the cube. The goal is to create a bounding box around the inner negative form and remove all surrounding geometry. Once the cube is placed correctly, we click accept. In the object browser, we now hide one of the two molds. To subtract the visible part, follow this selection order. First, select the cube, the helper shape, then select the object to subtract from. Go to Edit, Boolean Difference. This may take a few moments to calculate. Now, use the Select tool, shortcut S, as seen in episode 1, to clean up any remaining geometry. Select unwanted parts and press Delete. It may seem a bit tricky at first, but the Select tool is powerful and gets faster with a little practice. 
Under the Analysis tab, you will find the Inspector tool. It can automatically fix holes and remove stray fragments. Now repeat the same steps for the second mold half. Use the cube helper shape, go to Edit, Boolean Difference and Subtract. If error markers appear, it means MeshMixer had trouble with the calculation. The Boolean Difference failed. One possible solution is Manually clean the model to fix artifacts. Select your STL file in the object browser, then use one of the sculpturing brushes, in our case the pinch brush, to adjust the surface and reduce overlap between the two models. The channel Alux Pro Illustrator made a comprehensive explainer video about the most important brushes in the Mesh Mixer Sculpturing Toolkit, including the pinch brush tool. I've linked the video in the description below. Use the inspector again to fix holes and clean up fragments. Now, try Boolean difference again. If it still fails, check the box labeled Handle Coplanarity. This function often solves the issue as well and lets you move forward. Click Accept. Finally, Clean up any leftover geometry using the Select tool and press Delete. It's a bit finicky, but with some practice, this is the fastest and most efficient method. Once all holes are closed, using Inspector with Auto Repair again, your cleaned and isolated model is ready. Export your print-ready STL file and send it to your slicer. I'm using the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini with PLA filament loaded. Let's print. What did it take to get to this result? We performed two scans using the OpenScan Mini photogrammetry scanner, aligned both scan files using Cloud Compare and combined them in Mesh Mixer into a single positive form. We then trimmed the model to create a printable figure. To test accuracy, I keep the small sprue from the mold's fill channel. By placing the printed figure back into the mold, we can see how precisely it fits. If you found this video helpful, you can give us a thumb up and leave a comment if you like to share. What kind of objects would you like us to experiment with? Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.